Dimensional Constraints in AutoCAD 2010 enable you to create and maintain dimensional relationships among drawing geometry. You can add dimensional constraints similar to adding typical AutoCAD dimensions. For example, I'll add two aligned dimensional constraints for the length of the arms and an angular dimensional constraint to specify the angle between the arms. I'll add a diameter constraint for the circle and a radial constraint for the arc. The dimensional constraints are displayed with default names such as D1, D2, or Rad1, Rad2, but you can provide more meaningful names as you create the dimensional constraints or at any time. View and modify the dimensional parameters in place or using the Parameters Manager. For example, I'll rename D2 to Arm2 and DIA1 to Bolt Hole. In the Parameters Manager, you can even create your own user parameters. I'll create two user parameters, one that defines the bolt diameter and the other to define the rod diameter. Easily modify the parameter expressions by entering numeric values or formulas, which can reference other parameters. For example, I want the length of arm 2 to equal one and a half times the length of arm 1. The bolt hole diameter dimension should be equal to my user-defined bolt diameter, and I want this radial dimensional constraint to equal the bolt hole plus 0.25. Now when I change values, such as the length of arm 1 or the diameter of the bolt hole, the rest of the part automatically updates to reflect the changes. The new dimensional constraint names and their expressions are automatically updated in the drawing editor. The dimensional parameters that are not dependent on other parameters can be easily edited with grips driving the geometry that depends on their values. By default, dimensional constraints dynamically resize for display purposes. As you zoom in and out of the drawing, the size of the dimensional constraints remains consistent and they are not included when you plot. If you want some or all of the dimensional constraints to display and plot similar to traditional dimensions, you can change the constraint form object property of selected dimensional constraints to annotational instead of dynamic. You can then control their appearance with layers, dimension styles, and other traditional tools while benefiting from the power of parametric dimensions. Since dynamic constraints maintain their size for display purposes, they can cause the drawing to appear crowded. You can easily hide dynamic constraints, yet have them display automatically for selected objects. Whether you create dimensional constraints as dynamic or annotational, you can control their display format to meet your needs. In the Constraint Settings dialog box, you can choose to show the name, the value, or the name and expression.